When I found out I was getting my own show, I thought to myself, this is great. We can have a few laughs about sports, but more importantly, I finally have my own platform to settle all the old scores I have with basically every single Sportsnet personality, starting with David Amber. Simple fact is, I'm faster than David Amber. We do have a history of racing, in case you're wondering. First time was at a media event, I won. Second time was at Cabot Links, where this happened. Here we go, the much talked about race, Sean McKenzie versus David Amber. On your marks, get set, go. It's only 40 yards. They're flying out of the gates. It's so close. It's so close. It's so close. It's so close. Oh, Amber oh, takes Amber. it. That race was It was uphill in golf shoes and Amber's caddy who I did not trust from day one was the one that was allowed to set the distance. That's suspicious. Hey Sean, how come there's no footage of you winning the first race? Well. It was an exclusive event. There were some big names there. So they told us right from the get-go, phones in the bucket, no pictures, no video. That was basically the rules. Phones, what do you, phones in the bucket? Well, you show up, you put your phone in a bucket so no one has access to so it. So there's just like a bucket of phones? It's like a basket bucket. You know, you show up to one of those fancy parties where no one wants photos taken. You kind of give your phone over and that's that. How do you know whose phone is which in the bucket? You have to fish through the bucket to get the phone? Yeah, you just grab it after and you look and maybe you take home someone else's phone. You know, it's, uh, it's just part of being in that exclusive club. I don't know, I, explaining things to people that wouldn't understand, so. I don't believe you, man. I have to take my word for it. The only way we're gonna settle this is a third and final race, the trilogy. We tried to keep this low key, but word did spread and Sportsnet Central was there to cover it. Maple Leafs Habs, Yankees Red Sox, David Amber, Sean McKenzie. Two of these are historic rivalries. The other we're being told is also a rivalry. After splitting two foot races and each sitting with one win, the trilogy race this past week was to be the culmination of their rivalry. And we're showing it to you on Sportsnet Central because apparently we've run out of actual sports. This unsanctioned race took place in an underground parking lot. Our cameras caught up with Amber and asked about his confidence level going into the race. I run incline, I run decline, I run flat ground. It doesn't really matter. Uh, any place, any time. Here we are in an underground parking lot. Let's do this. And Sean, on what he did to prepare for this race. Nothing really. I'm not really that intimidated. There was the electrolyte cycling, the carb cycling, the nutrition coach I hired for that, the few visits to the chiropractor. But I would honestly say it's just been my normal daily routine. After a quick warm up of David Amber posing and shadow boxing the camera, and Sean McKenzie barely passing a sobriety test, the two headed to the starting block and a date with history. David Amber takes it at the end, winning the trilogy, vanquishing McKenzie and almost hitting his head on a sign in the process. As you can see, never in doubt for Amber. He pulled away mid-race and held on strong down the stretch, humiliating Sean McKenzie on his own show. How did David Amber feel after his momentous victory? Closing speed, baby. And what about nearly decapitating himself at the finish line? Yeah, I thought I was gonna hit my head. <laughs> I almost did hit my head. And here's the loser, Sean, who lost. I'm not blaming the course, but yeah, the course made me lose. Am I gonna quit racing? I am the face of racing, so no, I'm not quitting racing. Who am I calling out next? Well, the list is a long one, but at the top of the list, Carolyn Cameron. I think she's the face of tennis in Canada. I think she's the face of tennis at Sportsnet. I've never been given the chance to cover a tennis event. I will take Carolyn Cameron 1v1 on the tennis court any day, any time. Is that for real? Like, are we gonna show that on the show? Well, that's it for the show. I'd like to thank David Amber for stopping by and publicly embarrassing me in my own show. You're watching The Show with Sean McKenzie. A group of writers came up with that name. At least the show's over. Thanks for watching, everyone. That's good. I'm gonna go up. They're fake stairs. More? Still? More? More? Here? 
What am I doing up here? 